inside the Patriots organizations such as refs. Millions of dollars in gambling profits are decided by the outcome of every game. The NFL attracts more gamblers than any other sport, and wagers on the Super Bowl alone have approached $100 million in past years. And who has to ex extreme influence over the NFL game? Of course, the referees. So it's not unreasonable to suggest that the refs could be paid off. Why did the Colts not notice that they were playing with... Why did they have to get an interception to notice? This is... They're always trying to find some way to blame New England. The point is, I think both teams should be uh, looked into, and if one of them get penalized, then they both should. The bigger issue isn't the teams here. It's the way that this seems to be going on all over the NFL. I just talked about uh, a couple weeks, a couple uh, installments ago. Look up. How San Fran was cheated out of going to the playoffs. Uh, we have the, uh, the pass... Uh, that was perfectly legal that we reported on last uh, two weeks ago, I think it was, a week ago, where he, the, the team was cheated out of uh, the playoffs. Clearly cheated out of the playoffs. It says, uh, the rules are so messy nowadays that refs can make bad calls with plausible deniability. That is true. The refs almost play the game now. And it said it's all about money. That's what the leagues put the games on for. Gambling expert Brian Towery said they put them on just for their own profit and for the television networks. And statistically, it's shown the networks are surviving because the NFL and, of course, the advertisers are making a profit. And again, it put on that there's no law that prevents them cheating. The point is this. This stinks a lot more than New England. The, it looks to me like the Colts also knew about this and they raised a stink because they lost. At the end of the day... This is going to destroy it. A lot of people like me already love, and I, I'm, I've loved it since I was a small child, we like skateboarding. And now that the X Games have taken off, you know what? I'd be just as happy watching the uh, season, the, the X Games, as I would the Super Bowl. And this is going to make a lot more people think this way if they start to do that. Oh, it might not be the X Games. It'll be soccer, which is growing in this country. It'll be something else. But that's why it will be that, because of the cheating that we're finding here in the NFL. News.yahoo.com, it takes us to the dumb D of the day. Town to vote on demolishing Sandy Hook Killer's Connecticut home. How damn stupid can you get? This is a $500,000 house. I don't care if Charlie Manson lived in it while swapping spit with Adolf Hitler on top of a copy of the Quran. I could care less. Give the house to the working poor. Somebody, you know, well, I guess you wouldn't be able to pay the taxes, but you get my point. Give it to somebody that could afford the upkeep that just couldn't afford the house. You don't like that idea? Give it to the battered women's shelter. What, they don't have any battered women in Newton? Give it to daycare for um, uh, working poor, mothers, fathers. No, no, tear the house down. I am so sick of this. Uh, my brother can tell you loads about this. He bought a demolition house, and all they wanted to do was tear it down, tear it down. He's now living in it, and it is looking better every day. Um, they want to tear down Guantanamo Bay. Be, like, we don't need any place to, uh, to put prisoners. Now, we should be doing it legally. But why should we tear down Guantanamo to build another place? You should change the rules at Guantanamo. This is, this is so damn stupid. Civic officials will vote on Wednesday whether to demolish the Connecticut home of the 20-year-old man who killed 26 children and staff at Sandy Hook Elementary School in 2012 in one of the deadliest school shootings in history. Adam Lanza shot and killed his mother, Nancy Lanza, on December 14, 2012 at the white colonial style house shortly before driving to the school to continue the shooting spree which ended in him killing himself. The best thing we can do to honor the families is demolish the house. Bullshit! Why don't you sell it and give the money to the family members? How about that? Patricia Lordra, Newton's most senior elected official, said in a telephone interview, she's a damned idiot. Call Patricia Lordra and let her know that we have people that can put that house to good use and that she just won the dumb deal of the day. Lordra said the Newton Board of Selectmen, the administrative body that she leads, had unanimously approved a recommendation to demolish the house because, you know, she's got a house, so why should she bother to give anything back to the community? 
the house appraised at five hundred and twenty three thousand dollars was given to the town at no cost by Hudson Savings Bank in December, which acquired it a few months earlier after Nancy's and her son's death. So let me ask you something. They had sold it, Ryan Lanza. You give something to the government, and what do they do? They destroy it. They tear it down. That's why it's better off in the hands of the people. I guarantee there's a lot of people without a house that aren't worried about the memory of the thought. They're more worried about where they're going to live tonight. Laudra also said she will urge the town to place a limitation on the deed so that any economic benefit for the future sale of the development of the 2.1 acre property be used to benefit the families of the victims. Oh, shut the hell up, you moron. It says the short term plan would be to leave the plot as an open space. But in 20, 30, 40 years, town leaders may not feel the same. We want to make sure the victims' families are protected if the land is ever sold. That is the dumbest damn thing I have ever heard. Friends, you're listening to The Correct Views. Sam I.B. DeGange giving you those correct views and showing you where the waste is, asking you to contact the people that I'm telling you are doing these stupid things so that you can get them to stop. Things like demolishing a $523,000 house because an idiot owned it. Please donate to the show at thecorrectviews at hotmail.com. And go to immediaspeaks.com, look up the work of Kyle, Court, D. Lake, and myself. Good night, friends. God bless.